At the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, the sea floor widens into a gaping abyss of obscurities. Let's take a closer look at the hidden world of the Mariana Trench. The infamous Mariana Trench sits like a crescent-shaped dent in the floor of the Pacific, a 2,550-kilometer-long, 69-kilometer-wide fracture that plummets down into a pure black void. At the bottom, it hosts the deepest known location on Earth, the Challenger Deep, 11,033 meters or 36,200 feet beneath the waves. At its deepest point, the Mariana Trench dips down into a little explored zone of the ocean, the Hadal Zone, named after the realm Hades, the underworld of Greek mythology. A suitable title for a place where the conditions of pure darkness, acidic freezing water, scarce food, and immense pressure create a challenging environment for creatures to survive in. For much of history, it was believed to be a dead zone, void of any life at all, an impossible frontier, and an empty void of perils that could never be reached by any human. But in the 19th century, this was all about to change. In 1960, 85 years after the Challenger Deep was discovered on that pioneering voyage, two men set out to reach the bottom. Jacques Picard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh, sheltered only by a cramped bathyscape submersible called the Trieste. What they saw would shock the scientific community. Life, pale shrimp and flounder-like fish, along with what they described as a dark brown diatomaceous ooze that covered the seafloor. When James Cameron followed in the Trieste's footsteps on board the Deep Sea Challenger in 2012, he too saw the sprawling microbial mats. Bizarre looking filamentous clumps of microorganisms living off chemicals from altered rocks, 10,912 meters or 35,803 feet down in a sunless world. It is these bacteria that support more complex creatures, that a number of these bacterial species appeared to be obligately barophilic, meaning they thrived under high environmental pressures, proving that the idea that life could only exist in more moderate conditions was flawed. In more recent times, remote submersibles have caught yet more oddities of the Mariana Trench in their headlights. The deepest known fish thrives at depths of 8,000 meters or 26,200 feet, still two kilometers above the Challenger Deep, the Mariana snailfish. But snailfish and amphipods are not the only oddballs found in the trench. Despite all the expeditions and the footage that's been gathered, we have still only just begun to dip our toes into the hidden world of the Mariana Trench. It is likely that many new species await discovery and will help us piece together the puzzle of how animals can survive such extremities. Researching the Mariana's microorganisms could lead to vital breakthroughs in biomedicine and biotechnology and shed light on the story of life's emergence on planet Earth. But even the furthest depths are within reach of human-driven destruction. Already has plastic been found in a place we scarcely understand. Who knows what vital discoveries might vanish before we come to understand their importance.